Hey everybody, it's Luke with Figure Me Out, and today we've got the Diamond Select John Wick, aka Baba Yaga, aka Keanu Reeves, aka Awesome uh, action figure here. Take a look at the packaging. We've got a big blister card on the front. We've got a big blister. We've got a big bubble on the back. We've got a read up. If you want to read that, I'm going to read it to you this time. The John Wick series follows the exploits of the legendary hitman as he unleashes mayhem and fury on the mobsters who have wronged him and the army of internal assassins who want him dead. Exploding with highly choreographed gun fu and combat, the action-packed neo-noir thriller films tell the classic stories of vengeance and redemption. Beautiful. So as you can see, you got John Wick, you got Puppy, you got John Wick. Looks awesome. On this side, got a big old John Wick face. So, top, nothing going on. Bottom, nothing going on. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open and we'll take a closer look in the light box. So talking about accessories here, and we have got a bunch to go over. Uh, first off, we get this uh, coin. I think it's supposed to be one of those assassin coins, but it's huge compared to the figure. It's kind of cheap looking. Whatever. Um, could have included that, could have not. That's fine. Also, we get the, uh, the little knife from the first movie. A little switchblade knife, so that's cool. I like that a lot. looks good. Get the uh, Glock, so that's fun. little handgun. We also get, in addition to the handgun, we get... A, another handgun that is in a sheath. I think it may be the same one. Um, just one in uh, its sheath and one not. I don't know why they gave us both because I don't see anywhere to clip this on, but hey, I'll take it, I guess. We also get uh, this thing, which looks like some sort of a M16 type variant. I don't know. Um, not really, you know, huge on the different names of guns and stuff. I know that they, they're all John Wick guns, but it does have a nice uh, dry brushing on there. Looks really good, very metallic. Um, it really sells the fact that this is kind of you know, battle-worn, whatever. Looks really nice. We also get the uh, shotgun of some sort. I can't remember what this is again. Uh, is it a Bernalli, maybe? That sounds right, but I don't know. Um, so that's pretty cool. Cool shotgun there. Got the little scope on there. Uh, and again, it's got that same dry brush, so that looks awesome. And then we've got the uh, sniper rifle-looking thing. Again, don't know the names. I'm sorry. Um, the one thing on this, the, the little bolt on the side here um, was bent out of the package. I think it's supposed to be straight out, if I'm not mistaken. Now, again, I'm not an expert on firearms, but just basic gun knowledge, I believe that's supposed to stick out of the side because you're supposed to be able to slide that back, but I don't know. Um, and the stands in the front, they don't come down. They're actually just locked in place. But again, nice dry brushing. Looks really good. Very tactical. Very John Wick. The last accessory we come with is this cute little puppy dog. Little puppy from John Wick 1. Um, not going to spoil anything, but if you haven't seen that movie uh, and you like this accessory, then uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's got little paw prints. It's just so cute. Look at that. Little, it's got little paws. It's got little paws on there. It's even got like little, little, little puppy nails. Little puppy nails. Little puppy face. Oh man. You can see why John Wick does what he does. Just a cute little pup there. I like that a lot taking a closer look at John Wick himself and I can definitely see Keanu here like it definitely um, the face sells Keanu whatever I saw the solicitations for this I thought oh, that, something's off about that it doesn't look quite right but in person in hand it looks really good um, I really like it a lot so that looks good he's got some you know scratches and scrapes and scars and looks like he's been beat up a little bit which is perfect might have had a little bit of smudging on the inside here but we'll just chalk that up as a blood stain you know I mean why not it's John Wick doesn't matter um, we get a trigger hand on this hand. We get a regular hand on this hand. He's got his wedding ring on there. I love that they painted that. That's really cool. Belt looks awesome. Um, and he's got his little extra little pouch there for some extra magazines or something. He's got his little tie. There was a uh, piece in the package that held the tie down, a little rubber band. And so I did get a little bit of a line on there because of that. One other thing, this thing smells out of the package. It's very strong. It's got that new action figure smell really, 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 really bad. Um, but I actually kind of like that smell, so it's actually really, really, really good. But uh, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. One thing to note, too, is on these shoes, they're actually more of a shiny, uh, more of a gloss black, whereas pants are more of a matte. And I really love that because it provides a great contrast and just looks awesome. But, uh, yeah, just sculpt is on point. Looks really good there. You know, they hit the joints well. The, the jacket and the wrinkling and everything looks good. Let's go ahead and take this guy out of here and we'll talk about some articulation. Talking about articulation and uh, Dog is not articulated at all. He's just a static figure. 
but uh, John can look up just a hair. He can look down just a little bit more than that. He does get side to side and he does get a great range of pivot. So you can really get a lot of emotion out of him there, which is awesome. Arms do a full rotation. The shoulders come up about that much. Got an upper bicep swivel, a double jointed elbow that comes in all the way. The wrists are hinged to go down and up, but Diamond, you did it right, man. Look at this. On that trigger hand, oh, up and down. Look at that, instead of back and forth. Good job, bravo, Diamond. At the torso, crunches forward pretty good. Crunches back a little bit, is inhibited by the jacket somewhat. Um, and there is a rotation at the top there, but there's also a waist rotation, so that's pretty cool. And you can get, if you really force it, you can get just a little bit of side to side out of that. Not much at all, though. Um, not even really worth mentioning, honestly. At the legs, he can do the uh, Jean Wick Van Damme, where he goes all the way out, so that's pretty cool. He can kick forward pretty well. He can actually kick back really well, too, so you can do like a mule kick. I uh, got an upper thigh swivel. I uh, got a double jointed knee that comes in all the way, touches his butt, and at the ankles, they're going to go down, they're going to go up, and they're also going to rotate side to side, and they're going to have a crazy ankle rocker pivot as well. Fantastic articulation on John. For a size comparison, here he is next to a couple other diamond figures. We've got the Man in Black from Westworld, and then we've got the Ultron from a few years back. For comparison with some other suited figures, we've got uh, the guy from Black Panther, I forget his name, Luis, uh, the McFarlane uh, Wildcard, I believe is his name, and then the Kingpin Build-A-Figure from Marvel Legends, and uh, those two definitely kind of look, you know, like they could go at it. Uh, the rest of these are a little short. Maybe the Wildcard could probably, you know, fit in there. Here he is as compared with the uh, McFarlane Game of Thrones Night King and Jon Snow, and the uh, night is long and full of terrors, and that terror is named Baba Yaga. Here he is with a few uh, standard Marvel Legends bodies. We've got the Hyperion, the Bucky Cap, and the Sunfire. Also, here he is with the Power Rangers Lightning series Lord Zed and the McFarlane Harry Potter. Here he is with the SH Figure Arts Tony Stark and the DC Multiverse uh, Batman Beyond. And you can see he's definitely in more of a seven, maybe even seven and a half inch scale. He's definitely bigger than these guys. For a comparison across a few different lines, here he is next to the Master Spider Man, the Star Wars Black series Obi Wan Kenobi Padawan version. Uh, the McFarlane Fortnite Skull Trooper and the Mezco 112 Collective Iron Man. And he's even taller than the Fortnite guys, so I mean, he's definitely got some height to him. Finally, here he is next to the Marvel Select Juggernaut, which I think up until this point was my favorite Marvel Select figure ever made. It still might be just because of its sheer heft and the fact that, I mean, it's a ridiculous amount of plastic for what you're getting. Um, but John Wick's pretty cool, man. He's pretty cool. We'll see. Time will tell. So that's it. That's the uh, Diamond Select, uh, John Wick, Baba Yaga uh, from John Wick Chapter 1. And uh, man, that's that's a good figure right there. That is a really good figure. That might be in my top figures this year, honestly. They did everything right. The articulation's great. The paint is good. I mean, it's a very basic figure, guy in a black suit. But at the same time, there's like little subtle things they nailed. The wrist articulation, nailed. The, you know, the range of motion that you get on these, nailed. The paint, the difference between the shoe and the, the suit, nailed. Just everything that they could possibly do right, they did. And I really appreciate that. Diamond, fantastic job. This may be in the running for figure of the year at this point. So congratulations. But uh, what did you guys think? Are you going to pick this up? If you do, let me know. Hit the like, hit subscribe, leave a comment down below. Check me out over on Instagram, Luke underscore figure me out at Instagram.com. We're going to have some awesome, awesome pictures of this guy because um, I can already tell you, he's going to pose great. So definitely want to check that out. And uh, like I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, go ahead and go out and pick this thing up. I'm not even going to say, you know, oh, if you like John Wick, pick this thing up. I'm going to say, if you like action figures, go ahead and pick this thing up. But uh, let me know what you thought down below. Hit like, hit subscribe, and until we meet again, happy collecting.